Okay, so when you're dealing with tangent or cotangent and you're asked for, or um, cosecant and secant actually also, um, and you're asked for changes, notice there's no amplitude listed here. Um, since they extend vertically forever, um, we can't really determine the amplitude. They're not the correct type of graph. So we are just going to take a look at the period and phase shift for these. Now, you want to be careful in working with tangent and cotangent because um, their regular period is pi. Their pattern is repeated every pi. So when you're finding your period, instead of dividing 2 pi by the number, you're dividing pi. And that is for tangent and cotangent. Okay. What do we divide it by? Um, whatever is directly in front of our x. So notice we have tangent of, and then in parentheses we have these 2 pi and minus x. Now normally we're used to it being written with the x first, so I'm just going to reverse. That's the same as negative x plus 2 pi. So to determine the period, you take the number directly in front of x and you divide pi by that number. Now if it's a negative, you don't worry about the negative for your period. Okay, just put the absolute value of number. Um, so really there's been no change to the period of this. It's still a period of pi. Right. To find the phase shift, you take the number that's added or subtracted from the end of your x, and they put it at the beginning, but it's whatever's added or subtracted to your x, okay? which in this case was a positive 2 pi. You write it with the opposite sign, okay? so we write negative 2 pi, since it was positive, and you divide it by that number that was directly in front of your x, which in this case was negative 1. Okay. Negative 2 pi divided by negative 1 is a positive 2 pi. So this graph of tangent will still have a period of pi. Um, it will have some reflection over the y-axis because of that negative, but the negative here does not change its period. Um, and it will be have a phase shift of 2 pi to the right. All right, so here we have secant. We want the period and phase shift. So secant, it has a period of 2 pi. Okay, so 2 pi. Um, we're going to divide that by our number that's directly in front of the x, which in this case was 4, to find our new period. Um, I'm going to reduce that fraction. 2 goes into 2 once, leaving with pi on top. goes into 4 twice, leaving with 2 on the bottom. So we just get pi over 2 for our period. For phase shift, that works the same way. We look and see, well, what was added or subtracted to the x? Um, it was a 1. We write it with the opposite sign, the negative 1. And we divide by that number that was in front of x, in this case, 4. So we get negative 1 fourth for our phase shift. Right, here we have cosecant, 2 cosecant of 3x minus 1. We want the period and the phase shift. Again, we're not going to worry about amplitude because it extends vertically um, in both directions. So period, um, for cosecant, its period was still 2 pi. Um, but if anything's been multiplied by our x, that will change our period. Um, so we take that number, multiply by our x, which in this case is 3, divide 2 pi by that number. So we get a period of 2 pi over 3. And for the phase shift, our number added or subtracted from the end, in this case, was negative 1. We put the opposite sign, so we're going to put positive 1, dividing by that number that was in front of our x, which is 1 third. So we'll have a phase shift of 1 third. All right, here we have cotangent. So again, watch to see which function you're working with. In this case, we're working with cotangent. For the period, you want to write what its normal period length is. Its normal period length is pi. Okay, That's for tangent and cotangent. You divide by whatever the absolute value of the number in front of x. So again, our x has been kind of switched in order. So it would be like negative x plus 2. So in front of our x, we have a negative 1. But we divide by the absolute value of that, which is just 1. So again, our period has not changed. It's still just pi. The phase shift, we take the number that was added or subtracted from our x, in this case 2, write the opposite sign, so we're going to write negative 2, because it was a plus 2, positive 2, divide by the number in front of your x, which was a negative 1. We do want to use our sign with that. Negative 2 divided by negative 1 is 2, so we'll have a phase shift of 2.